Good afternoon, Burlingame community. I hope all of the uh, teachers and principals and staff and parents and students are having a wonderful week. Uh, my message this week is going to be relatively brief, and I'm just trying to remind us all to celebrate where we've come from. So it was a really rough year last year for everybody, uh, not just in Burlingame, but in the nation. Uh, and I'm noticing that every little thing right now is tending to trip us into a, a mental state of of going back to that oh my gosh stage um, I want to remind everybody of how much progress we've made as a, as a community uh, obviously as a country and a state but also uh, in the school district um, so last March we were the first K through 8 uh, to come back successfully in a healthy manner uh, for full day instruction 97% of our staff is fully vaccinated and we see that number slowly creeping up uh, students uh, are allowed to be vaccinated at 12 years and older, and, and parents are reporting that many of them are, although we're considering starting to collect uh, voluntarily uh, for parents to volunteer uh, to the district confidentially that their students are vaccinated as we see the positive news of more childhood vaccinations coming in the next couple of months. So that means that those over five are going to start to be eligible. Um, we came back successfully this year and we're doing not just surveillance testing and AMBRI is being done by PTA volunteer efforts uh, led by Dr. Shaw every week now, uh, but we're doing testing when there is a positive case in a classroom to provide assurance to our teachers and parents and, and children uh, that the spread is not occurring in the classroom and that's actually yielded a lot of great news. For example, we have no classroom spread going on so far this year. All of the positive cases have occurred in the community. Uh, we're being notified and uh, the contact tracing is demonstrating that, that it is certainly not happening in the classroom, so masking is working. All really positive news. Uh, met with PTAs the other day and it's great to see our volunteers rev up for the school year. So everything is going really great. Uh, we of course have a lot more to get through. I'm really excited to see student vaccinations on the horizon. Uh, I myself have been out testing uh, children with a lot of district office staff uh, every morning. Uh, maybe one or two mornings that we haven't had to do that, but we're, we're excited to pitch in and, and make sure that that makes our community feel healthier and safer. And continue to wear those masks and parents continue to share with us if you have a positive test case in your household. So lots of good uh, movement. And if you reflect back where we were a year ago um, with, with uh everybody essentially on quarantine and only essential workers leaving their homes, we've really come a long way. So, so reflect in a positive manner. I have to keep reminding myself of that. Um, and it's, it's, it's a lot of good movement. So with that, I'm going to wish everybody uh, a really happy weekend. I know fourth and fifth grade conferences are going on this week, and I've seen teachers and parents engaged in those. Uh, I've been on campuses and seen all of our fantastic playgrounds uh, as well, new playgrounds, I should say, as well as new shade structures uh, and some of the work that was done over the summer and things are just looking really good. And with that, I'm going to say everybody have a great weekend uh, and and try to get some good family time and, and loved one time. And if you're looking for information about current number of positive tests, uh, the link will appear below my video message. So take care and have a wonderful weekend.